I'm a qualified dentist that added injectable treatments into my skill set, but I stopped working after having children and I've had a gap from that. So the reason that I've come is because I want to get back to work and I want to, to know, you know, what's happening in the industry. I think it's important that we share our experiences openly with others so that even the audience can participate. And by bringing all that knowledge together, we can really build up and make sure we, we progress in our treatments for the patients. This is the Association of Scottish Aesthetic Practitioners, which is an organisation that was set up five or six years ago to encourage communication between aesthetic practitioners. It's got doctors, dentists and nurses practising aesthetic medicine in Scotland, and we all come from a different background. And the idea is that we've all got different skills and different things that we can bring to the table. And if we talk to each other and learn from each other, we'll all be able to improve and become more effective and essentially safer practitioners. The highlight of today was the ASAP Masterclass. We had a separate room where we had Delvi Hamza, Amar Khan and Vincent Wong all injecting simultaneously and that was video fed through to the main lecture theatre. It's absolutely fabulous to see three different injectors with three different styles employing three different technologies in order to achieve really phenomenal results. We've had a great two days, honestly. So we attended a lot of lectures yesterday. We're doing a lecture ourselves today. We've met so many different people, from dentists to nurses to doctors to people that are brand new in the industry to have been well established. So it's been a fantastic two days just to learn what people want. I think the ASAP conference is very important for networking with other exhibitors. We all have separate technologies and products, but there tends to be a, a lot of cross-pollination. The exhibitors play a pivotal role within the industry because they're often the first port of call for any practitioner and wanting to learn a bit more about a practice or a product or a technique or a treatment. But it's also really good for, for the industry itself that they can get access to the Scottish network. Today we are here doing a small pre-launch and Dr. Emma Ramachandram very kindly offered herself to do a small demonstration in the afternoon. So we're here today to showcase the product to the Scottish practitioners at the ASAP conference. This morning's session was about consultation for male patients specifically because male patients are increasing in numbers and it is a largely untapped market and the way we approach the consultation process and the way we analyse the patient's face is quite different to how we do it for our female patients. This morning I talked about the complications of dermal fillers but more from the point of view of the impact that it has on the practitioner who has suffered an adverse event. Events like this are absolutely paramount to, to your development. We need um, support and we need work, work peer groups and we need to be attending events like this to develop our learning to get our CPD. We attended last year, we've really enjoyed this year so no doubt we'll make an appearance next year as well. Now as you can see, it's the end of the conference, we're all knackered, we're going for a drink. Thank you very much, see you next year. We turned 